A health alert new tonight. February is American Heart Month, and tonight we're focusing on heart attacks. You know, every year, more than 700,000 Americans have heart attacks, and recognizing the signs and getting quick treatment can really make the difference between life and death, literally. NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz joins us now with the information you should know. So when you think about a heart attack, the first thing you probably think of is chest pain, severe chest pain, but the symptoms go far beyond that. Joining me now to talk a little bit more about this, Dr. Sandy Charles with Novant. Thank you so much for being here. First off though, just tell me exactly what is a heart attack? A heart attack is when the vessels in our hearts get clogged with plaque. And what that does is it stops blood from going to the heart muscle. And when the heart is not getting enough blood, it frequently gives you a symptom that hey, I'm in trouble, you need to take care of this. And usually one of those symptoms that we hear frequently about chest pain, but yeah. there's so much more to it than that. Right, so, you know, typically the most common symptom for both men and women is chest pain. Whether it's a, a pressure in the center of your chest and frequently it travels to the left arm or the left side of your neck. Women, unfortunately, have a whole bunch of other symptoms that are quite honestly very subtle that can get ignored, um, that women just really need to be aware of. So there's shortness of breath, there's indigestion, and fatigue is a big one. You know, a lot of women have the superwoman complex. Yeah. We have a lot to do and we have a lot of people that we're taking care of. Uh, but always remembering that um, if you feel just intensely tired, sometimes I'll have people say, you know, I think I'm coming down with the flu. I just need to uh, sleep it off. And unfortunately, I had a patient who went to bed and finally went to the, the hospital the next day, and it was a heart attack that was in progress for over 24 hours, and the results were devastating. Is there anything that we can do to reduce our risk of having a heart attack? Definitely making sure to go to your routine doctor's appointments, especially if you're feeling good. Mm -hmm. That is the time that you can be cued in and find out about things that uh, you can help reverse. High blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol. Don't don't be afraid to take medications. Don't be afraid to establish a partnership with your doctor. Such good information there, yes. Dr. Charles. Thank you so much. Thank you. Something and, you know, they, yeah, yeah, they have that test that you can you can see the plaque yes. in your heart, and it's it's a very cheap test. It's either uh, not, they run a ninety nine dollar mm -hmm. special or it's one hundred and fifty. So ask your doctor about it. Every family's dealt with this. Right. Thanks, Brooke. Good information.